Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to do that manicure with the technique we call like encapsulated glitter or some people call it a glitter sandwich. And first I'm gonna show you the polishes I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use as a base this brown by Lorac, their 502 color. Then the finish I'm gonna use Sangria by Dylos. And the glitter is by Hiske, it's called Granulado Rosé or Rosé Granulated. And first off, as usual, I'm just gonna clean my nails with some acetone and the precision brush to get rid of oils or any dirt on the nails and make sure the polish is gonna stick better to it. Also, as usual, I'm doing the first nail on normal speed and the rest I'm speeding it up. This is just to set the expectation of how long the process actually takes. For the base coat, I'm using Ont Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base coat, just to make it easier for removal afterwards. Especially for the glitter, I think that helps a lot. So for glitters, I usually try to use a peel-off base coat. And as I mentioned, for our base color, I'm using this brown by Lorac. For this technique, you can actually get away with using any color. You can use like a gray or even a blue or a red. Since we are going to do the finish with the translucent red, that's the color that's going to stick out. I prefer to have a dark base. And this video was inspired by some videos from YouTuber Gabriela Becker. I'm going to link her videos down below. And I like the result when she used the brown as the base. So. That's why I decided to go with the brown. But in general, I think darker colors work best for this technique. I'm cleaning it off as I go. I try to just avoid the edges of my nails and cuticles as a rule, uh, but sometimes when it does get a little dirty, I go in with the steel stick just to clean it off a bit. And I do this before the polish is dry because if you try to do the cleanup when it's dry, it's going to drag the polish, so you want to do it while it's still wet. I am going in with two coats. I didn't really have to because, again, we are doing the encapsulated glitter, so the glitter and the finish is going to cover it up. But I didn't. it was my first time doing it. I didn't want to risk it, so I am getting opacity with the base color and for opacity I do need two coats. And today is a bit unusual, we're doing a simpler manicure, I'm not doing any stamping or anything crazy, so it's an unusually shorter video and it was a unusually shorter process to do the nails. And the result is beautiful, I think the amount of time invested versus the gain of how beautiful it looks is definitely worth a shot, so I definitely recommend this technique. In person, the video doesn't do it justice, but in person, it looks like you have a gemstone on your nails. It's beautiful. And I'm also already going in and cleaning up with some acetone. A little bit of the staining around the edges just because with the glitter we're probably not gonna have any staining because I'll keep it inside the nail and I plan to not make so much of a mess with the finish with the translucent red finish as well so that's why I'm already going in and cleaning it up for reference I do mention this on the other videos but the parts that are sped up are sped up by times five just so you guys have an idea of how slow I am so it would be very painful if I kept it real time for you guys. And now for the glitter, I'm only going to do one coat. This glitter looks beautiful on the bottle. I thought it was gorgeous. And then when I tried to use it, I didn't really like the result. So I'm really glad I found this technique of the encapsulated glitter, because I think this glitter in particular 
works great for it. So I found a use for it because on its own or like I'm doing it there on top of a base color, I don't know, I just, I didn't really like it. People uh, here in Brazil, this is like a Brazilian brand. People love it. Uh, it does give a lot of shine and a lot of glitters. There's a lot of payoff. Sometimes with glitter, you have a lot of the clear base coat and none of the glitter. This is not the case here, as you guys can see. I'm even, uh, some parts I left it out of focus just so you could see the shine. But I don't know, I didn't really dig it on its own. I did kind of like it on top of the brown there, but with the translucent red on top of it, it definitely looks much better. So now I'm going in with uh, Sangria by Dylos, and that's gonna give the effect of like that gemstone and the encapsulated glitter. You can also use a jelly for this section, but I would recommend using a more opaque jelly if that makes sense. I tried uh, a test of this technique with a very sheer pink color I have, and it doesn't look the same. You need a polish that is gonna give you a better color payoff to give a good effect. So I think a jelly would be the closest to it, but make sure it is one that has a good color payoff. I've seen this technique done with blue as well. It's one I really wanna try because I think with the translucent blue, it'll probably look beautiful as well. I don't think the video does it justice, but it looks so gorgeous. I'll show you guys some different lighting, but it looks great. Here, I'm just comparing what it looks like without the translucent on top of it, just so you guys have an idea on my other hand there. And I mentioned I was gonna try to not make so much of a mess, but I guess I failed. I did get a lot of that translucent polish on the edges there. Just going in with the stick, this has to be done while the polish is still wet, otherwise it's gonna drag. And I'm gonna go in with the stick first and the precision brush with acetone afterwards, because once you separate the polish from the nail, the little dirty parts you can clean with acetone after it's dry, no problem. But the stick part, you have to do it while it's wet. And here I'm trying to do some comparisons on different lighting and showing how the glitter looks in the encapsulated version and the standalone version. And to finish off some top coat, this is Colorama Gel Effect top coat. It's not a gel polish, it's just a gel effect. And the gel effect ones are the closest ones I can find to Sasha V2, which I've mentioned many times is my favorite one. They, they dry well, they give a nice texture and a nice thickness to the nail. I like the top coat to be like a thick layer on top of the polish. So this is very close to that. It's the closest I could find, at least here in Brazil. And I do like to clean up even with the top coat. Sometimes the top coat does pull up a little bit on the edges of the nail and near the cuticle. So I do go in with the steel stick to clean that up, because otherwise it's, that's gonna look very crusty after it dries. It's had that issue, know what it looks like. If you leave it, you can clean up with acetone afterwards. The top coat does help protect the polish underneath. So if you need to clean off the excess afterwards, you can do it without damaging the polish below it. But I just try to do it as I go. I just find it easier. As I mentioned, the cleanup with the precision brush and the acetone can be done afterwards. So by this point, that polish, the red part was already very dry, but since I didn't have any parts that were still stuck to the nail because I went in with the stick, the cleanup is pretty okay to do it. A lot of people here don't like these translucent red polishes because they stain a lot. That was not my experience with this particular one. I did have some in the past that you went in with the cleanup and it still looked very red, but for me it was pretty easy. I didn't think it stained my fingers or anything. Mm -hmm. 
And here I'm just trying to show under different lighting for you guys. This is with the ring light and it's nighttime so I only have my regular bulb in the living room and the ring light. This is on my bedroom lighting. It has like a spot diaphragm lighting. I think that one shows better the effect of the encapsulated glitter. I hope you guys like it. This one was a faster one and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.